In this video, we are gonna go in on Instagram influencers. We are Dan and Mike, and this is Five Minute Fitness, where we try to cram in as much training and interesting information into just five of your precious minutes as possible. So if you like that sort of stuff, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, we've got even more of these coming up. Instagram is killing fitness. Not literally. Not literally, but Instagram is the source of so much poor fitness information, it's a joke. We're both on it, so yeah. that's why, partly, isn't it? It's down to us. It's down yeah. to us entirely. But you go on there and you see all these fitness videos, all these workout type videos, and all these brand new exercises that come about, all these fucking bands and all sorts of shit, and all the paid partnerships that people do as well, like you got, oh yeah, paid partnership with so-and-so brand. And it's just become a free-for-all of people that can make the most amount of money from posting shit, basically, that gets saved and get shares. Yeah. The amount of workout videos that we see on there that actually fundamentally are poor workouts. Yeah. There's no point following one workout that an influencer posts, is, posts and then the next week doing something completely different. Problem with that is that you're never going to fundamentally see change and get stronger over time. Again, that's just because people are trying to get content out there that is different, so that it's likeable, or whatever. Yeah. And people go, oh, that's different. It's the same with anything else, any radical idea about nutrition or anything like that. It, that's where fads come from and trends. That's why everybody's doing fucking glute kickbacks on a fucking stair mill, mm -hmm. doing banded workout, all that shit. That's why, because it's something different to look at and that's what goes there. Nobody wants to go, right, train three train, sets of 10. Yeah, train by half. Yeah, like, train no off. one wants that. So again, you're then coming into the fitness industry and you're gr greeted by all of this. You're greeted by people with perfect fucking smiles, perfect tans, perfect fucking physiques, telling you to do this. And whilst doing that, you must take this into workout shake and blah, blah, blah. But what they don't tell you is that they're being paid for that. And even though they might tell you that, yeah, they're, they're sponsored by whatever, you're still gonna think, wow, they're sponsored by that supplement company. They must be pretty reputable. And if they're taking it and they're training like that and they look like that, then I'm gonna do that. And that's what you shouldn't be doing because what they're taking and what they are doing is probably not got them the results that, they, that they've achieved, right? Yeah, the amount of times you go on there and you see someone's perfect physique and they're doing this workout and you think that by copying that workout, you're gonna get that physique. And what you don't see is the years of hard work they put in before that. So all the females you see in their, their ridiculously really tight leggings doing kickbacks, they don't show you them doing squats for five, six, seven years before that. You just see them on the on the, uh, the stair mats doing kickbacks. You think, oh, that's yeah. how I'm gonna get there. The reality is, that the stuff that works is really fucking boring and it's not gonna post on Instagram. People aren't gonna post on Instagram because no one's gonna comment on sharing it because A, it looks difficult and B, it's just not gonna look good on Instagram and you've got a couple of seconds to grab someone's attention. And then inevitably, you're gonna get di a little bit dismayed with the results that you are seeing. Why don't I look like that? I'm not getting these results. And it creates a false idea of how reality is, how people look on a day-to-day -day basis. People are getting stock images from, you know, they'll do a photo shoot and then they'll get image, image, image and then they'll put them out across the year and claim that they look like that year round. They don't potentially look like that. That is not a normal sort of reality, real world look. Um, again, it might be in the niche on Instagram, but if you're following people on Instagram, the chances are is that the people that you follow will be in the top end shape. So you're then gonna compare yourself to the top percentage of people. And ultimately you're gonna make yourself feel bad because you're looking at this picture, that picture. Oh, they can eat pizza and, and not gain a stone. Like, why can't I? And you, you're gonna become a little bit disillusioned with what you can actually achieve. That's the thing is all these brands are picking these people because they look good and they're usually selling something just having the back of your head. Like they're usually trying to get money off you and they're usually trying to get you to buy a product that they probably don't use. And the reason like Mike said they've been picked is because they look great. If the product worked that well, why did they not pick someone who's overweight yeah. and show them using it yeah. and losing the weight? The fact is they don't. And the reason they don't is they pick people who are already in great shape to use a product that's brand new. If it's brand new. Yeah. What were they using last what week? What were they using last week or the week before that? Yeah. that or just, they changed supplement companies. Like, just use your common sense. And now this supplement company is better. Yeah, it's always better. Always Every better. time, always better. They do a new review. Always better than the last one. Always better. For always some reason, always better. Well, this one's better. What, you said that one was 10 out of 10 though? Well, this one's better. And no one no one got in shape by taking supplements. Please guys, remember that. You need to start following people who don't push supplements, who don't push stuff for their own financial gain because ultimately that's all they're doing. They're doing it for their own gain, their own financial gain. They don't care about you. What I would start to follow on Instagram is people who are putting out, yeah, not in good content, maybe showing pictures or transformations or videos of their clients. Yeah. People who work with other people and you can see, yeah, they're, they're creating some change, whatever aspect they're doing it, but they're benefiting somebody else rather than pictures on their feed of them 
twist it, come to us so far round, yeah. showing their fucking ass, their physiques, every single time, every post is them, 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 them. So I would follow people who are putting out good advice and showing with other people that they know what they're doing. If you like that video, don't forget to hit like, or don't. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't hit subscribe. Don't, then. Don't bother. Don't, don't want bother. you to. So. Um, and until next time, we'll see you later.